We have a saying at my school, if you can uh, bring tears, it's a pretty good event. And when I saw the people walking through the gate today, you guys brought tears. I've got friends from kindergarten here today in the neighborhood. I've got family members from here all over. Some of the board of my school is here, my faculty is here. It could not be a greater, greater collection. Um, I do owe some thanks to uh, I know Ken Bounds and uh, Charlie Royer and Gary Zarker. Those two guys taught me politics and budgeting. And uh, it was fun being on the front lines. And those skills are used today, believe me. Believe me. Felisa was going to read a poem, but she couldn't be here today, obviously. And so David asked me to read the poem. The poem is written by Maya Angelou. And it's called, When Great Trees Fall. When great trees fall, rocks on distant hills shudder. Lions hunker down in tall grasses and even elephants lumber after safety. When great trees fall in forests, small things recoil into silence. Their senses eroded beyond fear. When great souls die, the air around us becomes light, rare, sterile. We breathe briefly, our eyes briefly see with a hurtful clarity. Our memory, suddenly sharpened, examines, gnaws on kind words unsaid, promise walks never taken. Great souls die, and our reality, bound to them, takes leave of us. Our souls, dependent upon their nurture, now shrink, wizened. Our minds, formed and informed by their radiance, fall away. We are not so much maddened as reduced to unutterable ignorance of dark, cold caves. And when great souls die, after a period, peace blooms, slowly and always irregularly. Spaces fill with a kind of soothing electric vibration. Our senses restored, never to be the same, and whisper to us, they existed. They existed. We can be, be and be better, for they existed. Thanks, Bob.